Hi everyone, this is Katie Moran and I'm about to show you one of my favorite websites, Google Tour Creator. So to get to the Google Tour Creator, you need to go to vr.google.com slash tour creator. And when you come to this site, you're going to go ahead and click on that purple icon to get started. You can see because I'm logged into my Chrome browser, it already identifies me and my login. You might be prompted to log in yourself. Just remember that this is going to be the username that will store all of your tours. Now you can choose to go ahead and click here on templates, and this will take you through a long list of possible templates that you can use where you can change, modify these scenes to better fit you and your students. But for today, I would like to show you how to build a tour from scratch. So I'm going to back up here and click on New Tour. To get started, you'll need to give it a title, add a description. You'll need to choose a category. Even if it doesn't go public, you'll still need to pick a category. So I'll just pick Culture and Humanity. And then you'll need to add a cover photo. This will be the icon that people use, um, especially if you're going to be using this in Google Expedition app. You do need to have a picture that you can upload. So taking some time to download a picture or find one in advance because you cannot search from within the site and you can't add the image by URL. So I have gone to Pixabay and I have found an image that I would like to download to use. So I have my image and I'm going to select that image. If I wanted to change it, I can click on this trash can and trash this image and upload another one. I am going to include the citation information, click copy, and put that in my description as well. And now I can click create. All right, so it's time to start adding our 360 scenes. So you can search from here within the Google Street View. Just remember that Google Maps um, only thinks in proper nouns and specific place locations. So I'm gonna go ahead and type Eiffel Tower but it's recommending a daycare facility. It's talking about the Eiffel Tower restaurant in Las Vegas. So you really need to be careful that you're choosing the right place. So I'm gonna find the one in Paris, France. And it goes ahead and it drops Pegman into a 360 image. Um, and I was really hoping that I would land on top of the Eiffel Tower. So I'm gonna try this again. So I'm gonna to come to the map and kind of drag to center myself a bit more. I'm gonna click the plus sign to zoom in so that I can kind of see a little bit better about where I'm searching. And then if you can see this outline of Pegman, I will click, hold, and drag him. And I'm gonna drop him on this blue line. You'll have a blue line or a blue circle. No, it's still underneath. Let's try again. Aha, and now I am on top, <laughs> on top of the world. I'm on top of the Eiffel Tower. So I would like to add this scene by clicking in the bottom right corner. All right, so I'm gonna title my untitled scene Eiffel Tower. It will automatically cite the name of this image as it was described and labeled within Google Maps. I will add my description. If I researched anywhere and gathered information, um, this is a place where you can add those credits, where you can cite your sources for the information you're bringing into your tour. If you wanted to add accommodations or to add audio where the student was speaking about what they were seeing um, or to add narration, here would be places where you could click to do this. It does, just like that cover photo, require a file to upload. I like using um, Online Voice Recorder, um, an online website that creates MP3. I will put a link to that in the um, description of this video if you wanted to check that out. I also would prefer that the image starts without looking up. I would like for it to be looking out into the city. So I'm going to go over here and click Set Starting View. And this is its default, but I would like to spin it and I will click Save. And now I'd like to add a point of interest. This is where, if you're familiar with Google Expeditions, the bullseye pops up to point someone's attention to something specific and to describe something going on within that image. So I would like to add a point of interest. It will add a blue information dot to the center of my screen. 
and I can twist this and drag it to where I'd like for it to see. I'll give it a title and a description. Again, you can choose to add an image. So I can click to add that image. Again, we're going to have to upload it. I'm going to use the same picture to show you how it looks. I'm going to click Add. And I can click and drag if I wanted that image to be centered somewhere else. You can grab one of the blue square corners to resize the image, making it larger or smaller. You'll notice that it doesn't quote unquote lay flat because your picture essentially is not laying flat either. So if this were to be viewed in the bifocal VR mode, then by having this curved image and have it tilted in this way, it makes it a more um, spherical experience for the viewer. So don't be surprised if you can't get it quote unquote flat up against the picture like you're used to. When you have situated and added all of your points of interest and your images, and you're happy with your scene, you can go ahead and at the bottom here where you can add your scenes along the bottom of the screen. So I'll click to add my second scene. Okay, so this time I'd like to add a picture of Big Ben in Parliament. I'm pleased with where this picture is situated, so I'm going to click Add Scene. So once you've updated this scene, you would do the exact same things we did on the last one where you would add a title and a description, you would cite any sources, add audio, add multiple points of interest, and when you're finished with your tour and you're ready to share and publish, you'll click the blue Publish icon in the top. You only have two choices, you have public and unlisted. For students, I highly recommend keeping this unlisted, and for teachers too, for the most part. Um, unlisted allows you to share this link with others. You can even um, use this unlisted published tour within a Google Expedition um, to guide. It just doesn't add it to the directory for other folks around the world to be able to use. So I'm going to keep mine unlisted and click Publish. And when I'm done, I have a link that I can copy and share with my students, or I can click to view the tour immediately, and you can see the amazing virtual experience that you created for others to enjoy. If you are interested in learning how to share this Google tour in a Google Expedition app and guide this tour as you would any other Google Expedition tour, please be sure to check out my other video that I've also listed in the description of this video. I am so excited that I had the opportunity to share this with you. I hope you enjoy using Google Tour Creator as much as I do.